Man, I gotta do this video back over. I just did this video like maybe an hour ago. I ain't like how it came out. It's an unboxing, obviously. I think I'm just overthinking it. Let me just get straight into the pickup. Tell you a quick story. Then I'm gonna get y'all out of here. How about that? Let's go, you on. Got the all feet, man. You got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on the boyfriend? Right? Exactly. Back in the building. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had a re What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the sticker rooms, back bringing you guys another video, another pickup. Yo, peep this. I got a pair of shoes that I've been having since Monday. And the story is this. My wife hit me up asking, yo, you want these Jordans? I'm like, what Jordans? She goes, some Jordan 5s. I'm like, hell yeah. She goes, okay, I think I want them. What you mean you think you want them? Yo, check your email, check your payment. She goes, oh yeah, I want them. They charge me. What? They charge you? That's what's up. So my wife won a pair of these Jordan 5s. You already know what it is. I'll probably give it away, but nevertheless, you wanna see the evidence, right? But hold, hold that, hold that thought. We'll come back to that. She's like, yeah, but I didn't get your size. Well, what size you get? She's like, size 11. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't my size, ain't my second size. Definitely can't rock them, but whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out after I receive it. Boom. Uh, they came in Monday, UPS left them straight on the porch, which is a quick turnaround. I didn't expect to get them this soon, but they left them right on the porch. And I was like, yo, after I came back from playing basketball in the morning, I was like, yo, what's he doing here? I wasn't expecting to see those. And I was like, damn, that's how they feel? That's how they're doing it? Just leave them on the, on the porch? Now, granted, I live in a good community, so I wasn't too much worried about that, but it was kind of shocking. They just left them there, wide open, undisturbed. Like, they just left them naked. But anyways, man, I saw all that to say this. Um... It's the madness behind what I'm about to mention here. And I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna disclose that madness here shortly, man. But let's get into these shoes. Where are they? Oh, they came in a sneaker box, but like I already told y'all, man, I already unboxed it. Not shooting this video a second time. So my whereabouts off this box, right? Gotta remove my whereabouts, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just just do it they already know what it is you got this swiss cheese top lid air jordan 5 box and y'all already know what it is if y'all follow sneakers if you're on the sneaker app you already know what dropped today we'll take out both pairs of shoes and my wife is calling me because i think the child is up let's see if i can take this call oh she hung up all right let's get right into it anyways man up to deck are these Ooh, let me low down i hope you guys can see that Air Jordan 5 off white things, man. These are like the fire reds, but they have the Virgil stamp on them, man. Um, cream color or seal, I guess the color they, they're calling them. You got the... Um... All right, where were we? All right, first up, right? Oh, we was talking about, ooh. We was talking about this shoe, man. Just the style of this shoe. Virgo logo stamp all over this shoe is off white. You know what I'm saying? Come with the, the tag. You already know that's infamous. Actually, it's not red this time. It's that cream or light yellow. Uh, the whole shoe is seal, seal laces. And you got a lot of perforated circles in the shoe, right? Noticeably on the top collar of the heel, on both sides, medial and lateral. Also see it on the midfoot as well. You know what I'm saying? I can stick my, my finger in there. You guys can see it, man. See, see my little finger? All right, 23 and all red on the lateral side. And also on the tongue, you gotta jump. Ooh, let's remove this. This little car cardboard. Do got a hole on the tongue along with the Jump Man logo in red. Ear Jordan on the back in reverse. Nike Ear on the back heel of the shoe. That's dope. You also got the peaks at the mid sole as well. Dope shoe. Look at the outsole. I like it. I like it a lot. Obviously with the Virgil stamps and quotations, you got shoelaces. Oops, can y'all see that? Shoelaces on the shoelaces. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's clever how he did it. The second shoe, nothing more different than the other shoe. Other than it come with laces, you got the red laces and you got the black laces. Uh, come factory lace with the seal, obviously. And you got the lace lock as well. Size 11, not my size. 
So obviously they're not my size, man, but salute to the wifey for copping them. I asked her like, yo, will you even have the opportunity to select a size 12? She's like, nah, when I got there, uh, 11 is the only option I had. So it makes me feel like they're sold out uh, before she got an opportunity to purchase, which is cool. Size 11 ain't too bad, I ain't keeping them. Uh, these shoes are already accounted for. But nevertheless, man, one thing I wanted to mention is every time my wife went a pair of shoes, I went a pair of shoes. That's like a behavior that's true. We're we're batting a thousand. You know what I'm saying? We're four for four or five for five. We have not, or the sneaker guys has always blessed us. When she cops, I cops. And here's proof. Her first shoe on the sneaker app, these LeBron icons, I thought a lot of people be going after them. They didn't. She won a pair, then I won a pair. Obviously, I got my cheaper later on, but this is what started it. Secondly, we pulled up to uh trophy room at Disney Springs, and I filled out a raffle in person. She filled out a raffle in person, and we both won. Salute to them for not canceling our order since we had two shoes coming to the same household. These are the LA to Sha Town joints. LA to Chicago's, bro. Have two pairs of these, right? And most recently are these Air Jordan 1 bios. We both filled out a raffle at Shoe Palace. She got the phone call first, I didn't get it. She, essentially, they had two batches. She copped the first batch, and when I went to pick it up, they told me, hey, if you didn't get called the first time, uh, look out, there should be a shipment coming in, and I got called the second batch. So that's the reason why we copped two pairs. She copped hers first, I copped my second. Currently, our luck is still true. Every time she hits, I hit. And here's more recent proof. She cops, I cop. Your boy got lucky today in my size 12 of the off-white Jordan 5, man. Stay tuned. These shoes are coming soon. Now, I know we all hate the sneaker app, man. It's a love-hate relationship. I know a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are angry. Like, I, you never hit. I never hit. And that's so true from the beginning of this year, man. My luck changed around for the sneaker app. I remember last year I had a good streak. I had a good run. I caught majority of the shoes I wanted. But this year, starting off, wasn't good. It was no bueno. I was not getting any luck whatsoever. Especially how things are currently, you could only get stuff online because the stores were shut down and I was not getting anything, man. But then my luck start slowly changing and her luck start increasing because not only did she win these, she got one another pair that's coming here shortly, man. And if our luck is still true, I should be winning that pair here shortly as well, but only time will tell. But anyways, man, that's pretty much it. I want to give you guys a quick video. More so, everybody already seen this shoe, but I want to talk more about our luck than anything, man. These are the Air Jordan 5 Off-Whites, man. Wifey blessed me to, with that pair. And I didn't even game her or set her up to like purchase it. She said she was working, she got a notification, so she just jumped on it. She didn't even call me. Salute to her, man. Appreciate it. But anyways, man, we got some more shoes we got to try to get, like those Mocha ones that's about to drop. I need those. If I can get two pairs, I'm Gucci. But anyways, man, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Uh, salute to everybody who cop. And let me know if you guys are superstitious like I am. Uh, I don't know if I told you the story where I wear all Kobe's to the trophy room. That way that increased my chances of win. At least to me, in my head, I thought, yo, every time I wear Kobe's, I always had a chance to win. So I remember winning with the Air Jordan 1 Breads back in 2016. And I remember winning with uh, either the top threes or the Shadow Backboy 2.0s. I know I had Kobe's on that day as well. And even though Trophy Room is not currently open and it relocated, I'm going to continue rocking Kobe's to the Trophy Room to increase my chances of winning. And for the Sneaker app, man, it's all trial and error, bro. You gotta shoot your shot. Like Jordan said, man, you miss 100% of the shots you don't shoot. So keep trying, y'all. Don't give up on it. I know we all hate it but keep it up. But anyways, I think that's it. I got nothing more to say, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Leave your comments down below. Your boy want to hear what you got to say. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. What's poppin', homies? It's your boy, Frank Nitty, back in the building, in the sneaker rooms, doing my thing. <laughs> that made no sense, doing my thing. What the hell, you, what, you, what your thing is, Frank? What you doing? Do that back over. Our first shoe on the sneaker app. These Jordan icons. Jordan. Man, whatever superstitious, whatever stupid, stupid, <laughs> the, 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 yo.